today I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to get this look and if you're interested then you can continue to watch so here's my bare face and now first I'm gonna use this Catrice all round concealer I'm just gonna use the green concealer and just conceal anything that has redness on my face I got a few blemishes here and there so let's just color correct them and yeah that's what I'm doing just dab 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 with my fingers and then I'm using this 3CE concealer to just kind of seal that green color or rather blend it into my skin in a more natural way so I'm just using my hands here, I mean fingers, to just dab, 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 always dabbing. Now I'm using this NARS uh, Sheer Glow Foundation in code Salem. I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not sure. And just dab the product everywhere. I'm just using my fingers to do this one. You can use a brush if you want to, but I'm just going to use my fingers. And then use a beauty blender and just blend it all in. I like to use a beauty blender because it doesn't leave streaks, of marks, you know, like when you get using brushes. So now, using this Catrice eye primer, I'm just dabbing some onto my eyelids. And again, blending, blending, blending. With just using my fingers. Really, you can do a lot of things with the fingers. It gives you more control, actually. So just blend, 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 blend. So in most of this um, tutorial, we're going to use a lot of this TARDIS palette. So here, I just used the shade number 3 in the contour palette. So it should be one of the contour shades. But it's the one number 3, not number 4. So I'm just brushing along the crease and then I'm going to take this one, number 4 and just start from the outer V because this darker shade will give you like your eye more um, dimension and depth Don't forget the other eye! Of course, it'll be weird if you only do one eye, right? Then um, I took the number 3 shade again and just go underneath the eye. Now I'm using this Catrice Liquid Metal in the shade We Are Champagne and just dabbing it onto the center of the eyelid so that my mobile eyelid will look golden. Yes, just look at it. Now I'm just darkening the outer V with shade number 4 again. Eyelash curling. So this is how I curl my lashes. Top lashes and then lower lashes as well. Yeah, it looks scary. It is. It's the least favorite part for me. Next, I'm using this NYX um, pencil crayon and just lining my lower lash bed I think so, that's what it's called <laughs> and then I'm using this TARDIS clay paint liner and just lining the corners of my eyes like really making a wing but just at the corners like unlike other people, I just like to do my eyeliners just at the corners because I have a, I have very thin mobile eyelids so I don't want to make it look any thinner than it already is so I just do it on the sides just look at me I'm actually struggling right there low-key struggling on the inside trying not to screw this up yes and then I'm gonna use this TARDIS mascara and yeah just brush your eyelash you can get these Tarte products all in Sephora by the way that's where I got mine 
brush those lashes. Now I'm gonna use this Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit and just use it on my lower lashes. I use this one instead of the Tarte one because this one has a really slim wand which makes it easier for me to use for my lower lashes. And then for contouring, I'm using this NYX um, Wonder Stick and just using the highlight part to highlight the well high points of my face like under your eyes your forehead the bridge of your nose cupid's bow and your chin it's like you're drawing a bird and then just take a beauty blender and blend 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 as usual Still blending, blending it all out. Now I'm using this Tarte Finishing Powder called Smooth Operator and just using a brush and just packing it on the places where I put the highlight before just to make sure everything settles in and doesn't move afterward some people call it baking but yeah you can call it whatever it is then you can take the contour part of the duo stick and just yeah find your cheekbones ladies and then also contour that nose because we want our nose sharp right and there you go take that beauty blender and just blend it all out blend 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 I'm just dusting off all the excess loose powder on my face. Moving on, I'm using a sculpting brush and just going back to the contour palette and using the contour shades 3 and 4 and just redefining the places where I've contoured basically. Yes. Now I'm further sculpting my nose first I'm using this shade number four which is a darker shade I'm just lining the bridge of my nose and then I'm using the lighter shade number three and just trying to blend it all out and then I realized that I forgot to do my brows so I'm using this Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse from Tarte in the shade Rich Brown. I'm using the angled brush that comes with the brow mousse. I'm just lining the outside of my brows first and then just filling them in like so. And then use the spoolie part to just brush the hairs and also kind of blending it out not to make it look too harsh of course you have to do the other side as well duh Using a pointed concealer brush, I just take one of the concealer shades in the Catrice Concealer Palette and just try to shape my brows. Just clean up underneath of it to really give me brows on fleek. 
and then use a blunt flat brush to just blend it all out. Going back to the TARDIS contour palette, I'm using the blush from there to just blush, blush, blush the apples of my cheeks. Blusher is probably my favorite part of doing makeup, really. For highlight, I'm using this Mary Luminizer by The Balm and just applying it at my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and also the brow bone. For lips, I'm using the Silky Go Matte Junkie Lip Paint and just using it all over my lips. To make my lips look more naturally pink, I'm using a lip brush and just putting on some red lipstick on the insides of my lips, if that makes sense. And just like magic, I popped on my lashes and contacts. Now I'm taking the highlighter and just brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. Also highlighting my cheeks. Then using the NYX crayon pencil, I'm just gonna line my waterline like so. Lastly, I'm using this Urban Decay setting spray and ta-da! So that's pretty much it. This is the look. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to do, and um, good luck trying! Bye!